So in order to be considered a pluripotent cell, it must have uh, three basic qualities. It has to be pluripotent, it has to be undifferentiated, and it has to be able to maintain that undifferentiated quality over time. In order to assess pluripotency, you can't assess it accurately on undifferentiated material. Pluripotency can only truly be assessed on differentiated materials. As a reviewer, sometimes it's difficult to see things labeled as pluripotent, pluripotency markers. And um, just to remember that, in fact, those markers tell you absolutely nothing about the pluripotent capacity of the cell line. To be most correct, we would refer to those markers like OCT4, SSEA4, NANOG as undifferentiated markers, markers of the undifferentiated status or stemness markers. They are very highly correlated and so it, for that reason sometimes it's a, quick, a nice quick test to do to look but you cannot guarantee that just because something expresses OCT4 as a CA4 that it is going to be pluripotent. So we need to be very clear about what pluripotency means and the difference between the undifferentiated status and the pluripotent status. It's really important to make sure that we're using the nomenclature appropriately and that in order to maintain our ability to communicate as a scientific community and really understand what we're all saying, um, the semantics are important.